What's up, guys? Welcome back. Who's looking forward to Chainsaw Man? I'm looking forward to Chainsaw Man. Dingy, right? So, kind of a hard pose because we got a head tilt and a hand. So, it's not just him looking forward. I'm in a landscape page, pencil and eraser for these. Sketch it out lightly so you can erase your mistakes. And then you can always do ink on top of pencil, but you just, you can't erase uh, ink. So I definitely recommend pencils first. Center point to my page here, cross up, right? His head's kind of over to the left and it's tilted, okay? So we'll go up and down, right for his top eyelid line. And then we'll thicken this up. And then we're just gonna add like a typical sort of anime sort of spike coming out here. Doesn't seem to be any on the other side. We'll just, maybe I'll add one just for the crack. That's an Irish phrase, by the way, for the crack. It's like for the lols. And it's spelled C-R-A-I-C, -C, not the other way. <laughs> so his bottom eyelid line comes down up here. And his kind of head is tilted back, right? So his iris is like down in this eyelid line. So we'll go like around this way. And then his pupil in the middle. He seems to have some lines underneath and then an eyelid line on top. We go over and do the other eye. So we're kind of, we're pretty close to this eye. It's probably half an eye width, right? So the width of half of his eye will fit in between his two eyes. And then we'll go over the other, the other side, this curved line. And then you want to just thicken it up. And maybe add like a little hairy spike or two. Bottom eyelid, down. Oh, sometimes there's a gap, sometimes there isn't. So it's kind of up to you. And then his pupil there, touching the bottom eyelid area. And then his pupil in the middle. Again, he has some like lines around his eye here and an eyelid line there. So you'll see the tilt now. So we're horizontal. We're not horizontal, we're diagonal, should I say. Just there. Eyebrows, we can't really see them because they're underneath his hair. So we can see, well, we kind of can. We can see one here. So I'll add this one. We might as well draw them in because we can always erase what we don't need. So one there and I'll put the other one. Can't see that at all, but let's guess. I right? don't like guessing, but We'll go here. Okay. So we'll go back here and then just down and thicker near the nose. It's the main thing to remember with the eyebrows. They get thicker as they go down this way. And then he seems to have like some just drawn in kind of wrinkly lines and there's hair here and stuff. We'll leave it like that. Right. Nose over left of center, right? So we're going to add curve line there, leave a gap, and then down that way. And then we just have a nostril, that side. His mouth is open, stung, stung, <laughs> tongue, ti <laughs> God. tongue sticking out. I'm Irish, I can't speak English. Um, so we have a top line, it's going that way. English is not my native language. And then there, like that, right? And then the mouth is open, right? And we got all these sharp teeth along the top. So I'll draw the sharp teeth first. The spikes coming across, like that. And then this comes down and becomes the tongue, sort of. So it's like real long, because his tongue is sticking out. 
<laughs> it looks pretty crazy. But, but with the tongue then, pulls across, down like that. And then you can have like some hatching just for that center line. I think we can see like lines just in here. It's not, there's no teeth drawn in, but just like the back of his throat or something is there. And his chin, kind of a square enough sort of chin like that. Like, and roughly, if his mouth wasn't open, right, so I'd say, like, eyebrows to nose is about the same as nose to where his chin would be if his mouth wasn't open. So your proportions change when the character sort of opens their mouth, right? So here to here will bring it to about center of his tongue. Like, if his mouth was closed, his chin would be here, okay? This and this, about the same as this and this. And you just bring the tongue a bit further down. So that's kind of the proportion you want to go for. It doesn't have to be exact because, you know, this is bigger and stuff, but you've got a bit of wiggle room. But in general, that's for human face proportion. And when his head is tilted back and stuff. You're aiming for about there to be, the nose to be about halfway between here and here. Roughly, the bottom of the nose. So then we go for the jaw. Like so, oh, that way. Kind of a little bit in three quarters. So this this one like sticks out and goes up, but this one kind of curves around and goes up the side of his head a bit more that way. So we're not like totally symmetrical. A little bit different, see. And then we got hair, so lots of hair spikes. And some individual hairs sometimes like here, okay. And this is just classic anime spiky hair, right? Just coming down two in the middle of his forehead, which is the way with a lot of anime characters. Just little ones here over his ear, small ones. Right, like that, and his ear is underneath in this space, right? So it comes out from underneath this. It's part of his hair. And then you have cartilage lines and ear lines and things on the inside. Stuff like that. Every anime I have watched and drawn does this differently, which is amazing. <laughs> it's always different. Like... So then we just do the rest of his hair spikes, kind of parts in the middle. So these come down this way and these go down this side. So we go, right? So we just add spikes. And remember, hair moves. You know, so once you get kind of the normal general shape for them, you shouldn't be too bad. So I'm not being too careful, I'm just sort of spiking things around. Like so. And like the eyes are generally like halfway down the head, like from his skull, so up here to here. But again, his mouth is open, it's where, if his mouth wasn't, wasn't open, it'd be about halfway there, see? Roughly about halfway, if the mouth was closed. And then some texture lines just on his hair. Like that. Doop. All right, so we've got a head tilt. So his neck follows that. So kind of going diagonally. There's no neck muscle lines, but I do like to give them neck muscle lines when I'm drawing. I just think it's better looking. And we got some hair coming down from his ears. Back there. 
and he's got a shirt collar so i haven't read i don't know if this is like uniform i haven't read the manga um so i'm really looking forward to the anime because i have no idea what it's about i know what he turns into but that's all i know so and i'm going to keep it that way it's kind of exciting i understand now why some people don't read the manga and just watch the anime but um anyway so this must be his uniform that he wears i don't know so collar that way collar on the other side is smaller because his body is turned away from us on this side okay so you see now this much smaller and then this goes down and this one goes up this way and it becomes his shoulder because his arm is up he's like he's, he's in this sort of crazy pose right um, but we'll just we'll do the tie here the way it's sort of tied across goes up underneath that way black and then we go here and the shirt comes down that way right so he's got like a big elbow and arm sticking out here but his shoulder is normal on this side okay if you want you could just do normal shoulder there like you just go sort of out higher like say if he was leaning back or something so you just go Finish the collar and shoulder and arm and kind of come down this way. But I'm going to draw in that hand because that's what's in the picture. So um, it's kind of cool. So he's holding like a clip in his hand. I won't draw in the clip because I don't even know what that's from. So I'll just get the hand in. So we got a shoulder going that way. And then like lots of these sort of fold lines for his sleeve that go around kind of his elbow, which is sort of here. And it's drawn in kind of rough. It's not like atomically, super atomically accurate, right? So, because it's kind of foreshortened and things. So we'll go out to like elbow. And that kind of comes around here. I've actually improved that. <laughs> so this comes around, let's say, into his hand somewhere. Like here, and you got like a wrist bone. And then the wrist on the other side goes that way. And then his hand, so he, he, he's got a fist, but this finger sticks out. So let's go this way. So we go out to a knuckle, down to a finger, which sticks out that way. So a lot of sort of turns here. Your fingers have two knuckles, one there, one there, and one that joins the hand, right? So that's the hand one where the finger comes out. One, two, down. And then finger comes across, like so, up. Next one comes down, round, down, round, back up. Kind of simply drawn hand. not too much in the way of wrinkles and details and stuff but we'll just draw it in like so and then there's like a knuckle line or something here here there and maybe like a finger line like that and then his thumb so this kind of his thumb kind of comes out underneath here And that's what's drawn in for his hand, right? So the rest of his clothing down around here, all folded around because his sleeve is folded up. This goes in down this way, down that way. Like so there's like a line in here as well. And some more fabric stretch lines here. Here, maybe going that way. Like that. Right, but I think I'll leave it there. That is how to draw Denji from Chainsaw Man. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.